They share their thoughts on the author, his book, and the event. I was so um, excited about some of the comments made by his primary mentor, uh, Basod. Comedy is for very smart people. You know, the neurological sciences, the base for what is called emotional intelligence. And a comedian is a person who can gauge the emotional disposition of an audience and say things that they can learn from and laugh at and be better people. Such smart people should share their experiences so that others can learn. It's something really commendable and inspiring because he shared his story. Teju Babyface has discovered himself. He has found his place, found meaning for his life, found his purpose. And for him, that's the definition of success. He's turning around now to add value to other people, to mentor young people, to share knowledge on how to succeed. That, that was the uh, Christ's definition of success and greatness. So I believe that from here, Teju will move on to global influence. I've always admired Teju, not as Teju Babyface, but as Teju the actor, back then Diamond Ring, I've been his fan, and um, for him to diversify or create another concept from comedy straight to being um, a writer, it's a wonderful concept. It's, it's very honest. Um, you can look at the book as half full or half empty, depending on what you want to gain from the book. Everybody's story is unique, but the underlining secrets to success is the same. It's fundamental. Hard work, consistency, persistence. You might have the talent, but that will only get you so far. So in, in the books, he has been able to break everything down from his personal story, his struggles, the fact that he didn't even want to be an MC um, to, to who he is right now. And if you're on a journey towards somewhere in your career, you will come across the same traits, you come across the same challenges, the rejections, um, the downtimes. And what I have been able to take from the book are these life lessons that will guide you so you don't make the same mistakes again and you can reach the promised land quicker, better, and hopefully a lot much richer. <laughs> it's an idea whose time has come. Uh, people need to see beyond the glitterati, beyond the celebrity lifestyle. There's so much more behind the scene. There's so much lesson to learn, even from the life of an artist. And, you know, there's so much to even learn from outside the industry. So bringing all that together in the book is what, you know, people, people, people should really appreciate and look forward to when reading the book. So how does the author and host feel after seeing the event go the way it did? I was telling myself this morning, oh, I don't like planning events. All the stress, all the fear, what if it rains, what if we don't come, what if, what if, you know. So relief, thanks to God. I, I, I feel at peace. It's clarity. It all seems to be like a new beginning for one of Nigeria's well-known comedians, is it? I wanted to teach. Years ago, I stopped writing jokes and I started to write lectures. Interesting lectures, though. You will laugh, you have a good time, but I wanted to teach. And nobody was going to allow me to teach. You know, a comedian. You know, so uh, the book came about as an answer to those things. Uh, like I said in the hall, uh, at the time I was going to write the book, I, final, I, I eventually found that I would actually written most of it. What I was writing as lecture notes that I was going to teach at places was actually, uh, or were actually key parts of the book. It's good to see more books coming from our entertainers. One thing is certain, they have a lot more to offer than many of us often think. I'm guessing that a few people out there, particularly entertainers, have been inspired to get busy writing their own books. Courtesy of Teju Babyface. Well, we think this is a good time to show you once again, based on popular demand, Tejo's reading from his newly launched book, Secrets of the Streets. Hey, Tejo. 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 Wait for me, wait for me, wait, 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 wait. I was on my way to the new hall supermarket in the University of Lagos. Yem Yem, I think it was called in those days to procure myself a breakfast of uh, sardine and uh, bread and whatever that morning. 
So I turned around to see who was calling my name in that angelic voice. And it turned out to be her. Her who? It was this goddess with skin like cocoa butter, whom I had wooed a year earlier, whom I had toasted, and she had promptly shot me down. She didn't give me the time of day. The way she looked at me then, like, like who are you talking to? Anyway, so why was she now being so sweet almost a year later? Skipping across the road, dodging campus shuttles and other cars to get to me early on a Tuesday morning. Anyway, I soon had my answer. And it went something like this. Oh, you didn't tell me you were an actor. I just got back from home and I watched your movie last night where you stole a diamond ring. It was so nice. Why haven't you checked on me? Eh, yeah, really? What is the bar on this thing? It's not like that, I think. <laughs> no, Allah. Uh, the entrance of light does indeed bring comprehension. I knew to what she was referring. As he had been promising for a few weeks, Tadio Gidon's marketer had finally released the movie we had spent the last year acting, Diamond Ring. This was what this beautiful undergraduate, who wouldn't give me the time of day just a year before, this was what she now stood in front of me and was enthusing about. Needless to say, I tried to play it cool. I barely managed it because I was quite excited myself. Oh, that, I replied. Oh, that. Well, you know, it was just uh, something we put together, you know. Well, you know. To cut the long story short, she decided to make me breakfast. Remember, I went for breakfast. So instead, she took it upon her to make me breakfast. In those days, boys still used to enter female hotels in Unilag. And I thoroughly enjoyed the breakfast. Let's just say we saw plenty of each other therefrom. Now, it begins to occur to me at this point that more than a few students, especially those who want to pursue business, will take my frequent references in the earlier chapters of this book where I referred to all the fun I had while I was doing entertainment in school. A few students will take my references as encouraging shots in the arm you know, to pursue business or entertainment while in school. You're thinking to yourself that, after all, Ted you started entertainment while he was in the university. So why shouldn't I? Well, that is why I am writing this chapter. Because, you see, it will be remiss of me if I fail to paint the full picture for you. You know, give you the good with the bad. And so, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs>